Hi everyone, Stock Mo here and Cattails. This is old Tesla Cat, he's walking around. I had a couple people tell me they're, they're missing some of the old lines that I used to say, so I'm gonna throw them in this video, but a few punches for the bears out there. Boom, that's old Tesla Cat. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about some good things out there. We're gonna get into it and we're gonna talk about Neo. We're gonna talk about Tesla. We got a couple other stocks out there, gambling stocks that are gonna be moving big time. So I'm gonna cover them. We're gonna see how much money we can make and we're gonna get into it. Now stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. If you haven't done it yet, get that free share of NEO down below. All you gotta do is click on the Moomoo link, take advantage of it, deposit $100 or more, and you get that free share, as well as a share between three and 350, and deposit 2,000 or more, get a free share of GM on top of that. Good things right now. And of course, Weeble giving you the opportunity to get some Shiba Inu out there. They're giving you some free stocks as well for depositing. And get down there and take care of the crypto links down there. Boy, I'm telling you what, Coinbase has it. They're giving you opportunities. Block five up to 250 in free Bitcoin for uh, depositing, and of course, Gem and I giving you $20 of free Bitcoin just for trading $100 or more. Then come over to my Patreon. We have a lot of good things over there. The private Discord, thousands of members, a brand new portfolio I just started. Highly recommend it. Now, so we're going to start with the YouTube portfolio. I've been showing this because we're getting down to the last few trading days for this. I said we'd be finishing this up at the end of December. So we're eight weeks away. And today was a booming day for this. Take a look at this. Up to 41,000 now. And it continues to rally. Remember, the overall goal is to get this to 250,000, putting four grand a weekend so we're doing well now what happened to the stocks though let's take a look overall you can see DraftKings got pummeled and it continues to have a couple of things now one pen just got crushed and you know when pen comes out do their earnings we're going to see that kind of spread to some of the other gambling stocks out there and the entain hangover here of not having that deal go through it was running up it was doing well now you see it coming back down so there's some things out there to watch for and you can see we had a mixed market today russell down nasdaq up tech heavy s and 500 and then the Dow down so you have and the VIX is rising a little bit so we're seeing a little bit of change speech you know the Fed speech came out we had what we're doing I wanted to look at these individual though because we got some fantastic growth stocks to buy and we can start with DraftKings I just told you what I felt about that and uh, people saying hey where do you see this going you know because this is one that I thought had a great opportunity to get up to that oh we'll say up to the $80 level and at one point we were getting really close if you go to the year to date and see uh, we were up in the 70s and I remember uh, right there that people were saying hey Mo this is going to get up to up to 100 and this and that and I still kept it at 80 but you know look right now with the Entain offer killed it right in here or you can see where that all took over now you got some uh, earnings coming out which were poor from Q3 which we expected and so to me this is one of them buying opportunities for me personally I'm going to be adding on some additional DraftKings very very soon and taking advantage of that but that a lot of this to me came on with Penn National and uh, how they came out and reported their things. And so Penn National came out, you can see it's down 21% today. Uh, you can see uh, you got Penn National sheds more than 2.5 billion in valuation after earnings miss, allegations against Barstool's Portney. So there is some issues there. I think that kind of spread to the industry as a whole, uh, that they missed out on their earnings and then the other things. And so there's a lot of issues out there going on and that is something, you know, it's a lot of weakness. So if you've been looking for an entry, looking for, hey, is this a good time to buy? I still think DraftKings is a solid long-term buy and that's what I'm looking into. Now, as we move into NEO, I wanted to talk about NEO. It's been a while, but I gotta tell you, I'm feeling real good about NEO really good about NEO. It continues to just slowly move up. No 10, 20, 30% pops here. This thing is one, two, 3% daily, and it's doing fantastic. For those who are wondering, I said this has a chance to get to 60 still, and even when it was down to 30 again just a few days ago, uh, we're now up to 43, and I think the, the, the roll up should continue over the last five days, 7%, check out this, 27% over the last month. For those who got out of uh, NEO, didn't dollar cost average in through this, down. We're starting to see the gains come in. Now I'm in it for the long run. I'm not worried about any delays of getting to 60. I'd like to see it by the end of this year. And I still think there's a good shot of happening. We'll see how Feb uh, February, we'll see how November goes. And uh, if it runs up nicely, I would expect to have a good shot and maybe in December. There's that whole debt ceiling thing I'm watching too. So there's some, some concerns out there I'm watching for. But right now I still see this hitting up there uh, close to $60 a share, even with all the bad things that have been going on. And then as we move it, and remember, 
we got Neo Day coming up as a catalyst in, in December at the perfect time, right at the end. We got that Santa rally. Hopefully, put it all together. This thing pops to 60, and it could happen. I, I would not be surprised to see a five to 10 percent pop if they come out with a fantastic presentation. They wow everyone. People want to load into it. That is that would be the final you know candle on the cake for me. So we'll find out if that happens. They continue to expand. You know, I know they got their production lineup, and that was a, a miss, but that was temporary. All right, and that was one of them. Uh, we have record orders. That to me was the big news why you continue to see it move higher. Tesla, just, I don't even know what to say about Tesla. Look at this thing. It's like a perfect, it's just perfect. You know, we have one little drop here and that was the tweet from Elon and then we're back up and it's moving where it needs to move, 1229. How high does this thing go, you know? When do we see a stock split on this thing again? You know, so there's a lot of things out there to consider. I know a lot of shorts are continuing to try to pile in, but they keep getting burned. I think uh, they, they taught them real well uh, that you just don't doubt them. And you, <laughs> then you got people, Tesla stock is overvalued by a trillion analyst says, we looked at the math and there's all kinds of people. There's gonna be negative bears on this as always have been through the years and years and years. And so it's just how it is. Uh, Lucid group, and you got Lucid. This is another one. There was a lot of bears out there. This thing should be down. Oh, it's could be five, ten dollars a share. This, that, and the other thing. And to me, uh, thirty-seven dollars a price. We're seeing good movement on this. I thought thirty by the end of the year, and then get up close to sixty by the end of next year. Yeah, that big of a year, double in the price. Now we're at thirty-seven now, so we're seeing a little bit push early. I still think uh, sixty by the end of next year would be my price. Still, I wouldn't change it based on this and the numbers I'm seeing. Uh, and so I do believe we'll see a good run with uh, with this. And you go over the last six months gives you a better idea. Up ninety-three percent, and we got back down there about seventeen dollars, and then boom hit it down there again so from there uh just in the last what are we looking at two months you're up over 100 percent for those who stuck with me and rode this out and kept dollar cost averaging i can tell you what this is one of my bigger gainers in my portfolio now uh through the dollar cost average down at the lower level so i do got this we'll start with DraftKings. we got the tip ranks link down below highly recommend this puts all the analysts in one place you can see the average price target right now is 68 dollars. i like that neo you know neo um, I'm big on NEO, and I do believe moving forward, we're gonna see some big things. Uh, Deutsche Bank came out and upgraded to $70 yesterday. They see have a $70 price target on this, and uh, you can see all analysts, 59, top analysts, 67, so I'm liking what I'm seeing there. And Deutsche just comes out and upgraded it as well, and I agree, it's gonna, it's gonna be rolling. I think you're gonna see the upgrades coming real quick. And uh, right here, we got Tesla, that's all of them. Put the top analysts, have it at 940 now and you're gonna see a lot of price targets changing on that one as well. The Lucid stock price prediction, uh, there's only three here, 28, 30, and 12. So I still see this like I already gave you there. 30, I thought 30, we already hit that. So I'll, I'll, I'll say this, I still see 60 by the end of next year. And then of course, Penn, I wanna put Penn out here because this is one I haven't really done over a lot until we just saw a miss. And of course, they have a 64% upside potential at this point. And uh, we'll see how all this goes down with the uh, analysts and what they think since the earnings was missed and uh, the allegations and stuff like that. Very interesting stuff right now. And so these are the best growth stocks to buy now, in my opinion. I'm looking at these, I'm keying in. I got a lot of money and I'm gonna be putting more money into DraftKings. I know some people out there are like, hey, you gonna buy more? Yeah, right now it's like, it's a fall in life with that whole Entain deal. A lot of bad things happened from there. It was up in the 60s. I see this as a long-term buy and hold, so I will dollar cost average in. I am looking at Penn as well. Uh, anytime I see massive losses like this, it does give me an opportunity to get in at a lower price and uh, give me some uh, incentive because I do believe Penn's gonna do well, but you do gotta watch over what's going on and stuff with the uh, allegations and the profit and all that stuff because that's gonna play into it. Now, that's what I got for you today. If you haven't done it, get that free share of uh, Neo from Moomoo down below right now, deposit $100 or more, take advantage of that, and of course, put two grand or more in there you get gm share and a share between three and three hundred fifty dollars take advantage of weeble they're giving you some free stocks for depositing and you can go ahead and buy some shiba inu over there and that's a, a nice little opportunity coinbase has that coin as well and they give you some free bitcoin just for doing the email and id verification i'm staking over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of ethereum over there i'm up over three grand on that in rewards i can't wait to have that open up uh, from the merge. So we'll see when that happens. And of course, BlockFi down below, got that link. You can get yourself up 250 in free Bitcoin for depositing. And I got the, 
what else have we got going on? The tip ranks we talked about, and of course, Gemini get you twenty dollars in free Bitcoin for trading a hundred dollars or more. Then come over to the Patreon. We're over there right now, having a good time. Private Discord, brand new portfolio. So if you ever wanted to follow me and see what stocks I'm buying, the new ones, and all this good stuff, this is your opportunity. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.